Hey guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's episode, we are going to talk about the correct way to eat Xiaolongbao, the world's most magnificent soup dumplings. And by the way, how do you like to eat Xiaolongbao? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so Xiaolongbao are broth-filled Shanghainese steamed pork dumplings and arguably one of the best inventions of mankind. Xiao means little, long means basket, bao means dumplings. So literally translated, it means little basket dumpling, but it's basically, you know it, the good stuff, soup dumplings. When done right, it can cause your eyes to roll to the back of your skull and induce involuntary noises from deep within your soul because they're just so delicious. My favorite thing to do is to take American friends to try Xiaolongbao for the first time and watch their faces as they react to the rich warm broth washing over their palate. And inevitably, their reaction comes in threes. Eyes bulge, laughter, and an oh my god as they cover their mouths with their hands. So I, as a Chinese woman, have eaten hundreds if not thousands of xiaolongbao in my lifetime. And there are times when I see friends in other tables throwing it like an accessory into soup or dipping it into plum sauce. That's the wrong sauce, by the way. And sometimes, I mean, I don't like to judge, but sometimes I just want to take them by the collar and be like, there is a better way to eat these things. So I'm gonna give you five steps to the art of eating the xiaolongbao. And I recommend you give it a shot because treat xiaolongbaos with the respect they deserve and it will pay you dividends. Okay, I found a little Shanghainese restaurant. Let's check it out. All right, woman, let's eat your xiaolongbao. So how am I? This is a cute little Shanghainese store. Yeah, wait a while. Oh, Xie Fen Xiaolong. So today, now it's autumn, so we're gonna have crab meat stuffed Xiaolongbao. Then there are how many in the lung? Six. Six. Usually six, right? Okay, thank you. So there are gonna be six little bowls in our basket. That normally is how many there is. So it's gonna be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, thank you. Amazing. Firstly, the xiaolongbao is going to arrive in a piping hot bamboo basket. So this is the long. We're going to look at it. Let's take a close up. And they're super scalding hot. I mean, you can really even see the smoke coming out. Now, here's the thing. You don't want to immediately put it into your mouth. Because if you immediately put it into your mouth, it is going to scald you like a mother. On the other hand, you don't want to let it cool for too long because if it cools for too long, underside is going to get the dough is going to get really gummy and it's going to stick to the bamboo, which means when you pick it up, it is going to break and all the amazing rich juices, all that liquid gold is going to run out. So what usually happens is the restaurant will put a piece of parchment paper over here, this parchment paper that's non-stick, or they'll put a piece of lettuce underneath so that when it does cool, it doesn't stick. So the key thing is to immediately take one. And take it as soon as possible, and put it on your spoon, and let it cool. Okay. Point number two to remember is that well, let's come in and take a look at these dumplings. You will see that it actually is crimped on the top, and there's about a dozen of these crimps, um, and it also means, and that's how you create the bun. So when you create the bun, you kind of swirl it and pinch it at the top, and the dough is thicker on the top. Now this doesn't really add much from a taste perspective, but definitely from an aesthetic and practical perspective, it adds a lot. Firstly, it shows that the chef gives a damn because there should be about a dozen crimps. And they should be really evenly done. So this shows that you know the chef actually cares. And secondly, there is a practical reason, which is that when you pick it up, you should pick it up and let's come in. Pick it up from the top. You do not pick it up from the middle because then the skin will burst really easily. You pick it up from the top where it's thicker, and you transfer it onto your spoon. Now, when you pick it up, it will sag, and the reason it sags is because well, it's just gravity and broth and and meat. So that's the sagging part, and it's warm and succulent. Mm. Point number three: There should always be vinegar on the table. In fact, these two things should come together. As soon as the xiaolongbao comes onto the table, there should be vinegar. And if there is not vinegar, demand it because this is the best thing that goes with that. Sometimes I see friends doing all sorts of stuff: getting soy sauce, getting plum sauce, getting hoisin sauce. No, no, no. Only thing it should go with for purists is 
vinegar. Now, do not take it and then dunk it, okay? Sometimes I see friends take this and then just like wash it in the vinegar. Absolutely not. No, 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 no. What you should do is you should put a little bit of vinegar onto your spoon and then pick this up and soak it like that. So here you go. It's cooling. There's vinegar underneath. It should be in that Goldilocks zone soon. Not too hot, not too cold. And now in this case, we only have vinegar, but a lot of the times you'll see these matchstick kind of slices, pieces of ginger, which you can also put on if you want. Now, here's the tricky bit. When it first comes out, it's really hot. And if you put it in your mouth, it's going to scald you like a mother. So you want to wait for about three to four minutes for it to cool so that it doesn't scald your mouth. And also, by the way, once you put it in your mouth, it's really easy for all the juices to just bleh, to come out. So remember to keep your lips closed. It's more elegant that way. OK, so let me show you a little tip. Come right up and close. Now, a tip that all locals know is that you kind of just bite a little bite into the side of it. OK, so over here, you can see I did a little bite. And then what you do is you pour out the juices. So over here, and then you drink the juice. And then you pour out more juice. And so this is the rich warm broth that's inside. And what you're doing by nibbling this little hole is creating a release valve for, you know, all the steam to come out. And then if you want, you know, you can add a little bit more vinegar. You can pour the vinegar inside. And now it should be ready to eat, which brings us to Point number five. Now it is time to consume. Your Xiao Long Bao soup dumpling is in that Goldilocks zone of not too hot, not too cold. It is just right. And what you should do is eat it in one bite, like an oyster shooter. Just put the whole thing in your mouth, you know, and remember the spoon is a key supporting role over here. You definitely want to have the spoon underneath your chopsticks. That's one thing a lot of American friends don't really know to use. That's kind of our little Chinese trick. That's how we eat elegantly because there's a lot of inelegant foods in Chinese food. And what you do is you put the whole thing in your mouth because some friends, I, for example, like to pour out all the soup, but there are some friends that prefer to have the whole thing detonate in your mouth with that warm, rich, succulent pork broth washing all over your mouth. So let's give it a try. It's going to be one of the most marvelous culinary experiences that the world has to offer. I guarantee you. Mm. Mm. So now you have it. The five key points to the art of eating the Xiao Long Bao, the soup dumpling. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever eaten a soup dumpling, how you like to eat it and uh, what else you want to see me eat, especially amongst Chinese foods. All right, guys, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be posting a new video each week who have tips and tricks that I think will help all of us lead a better life.